Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use code to build yourself a house in Minecraft Education Edition. So here I've got a house, as you can see it's got a roof, walls, a bit of a window. It's quite a simple house and you can make yours a bit better. Uh, but the good thing about this house is I've not built it by hand, I've used code to build it. So it means whenever I want my own house, another house, wherever I am, all I have to do is issue the command build house. And there it goes, it builds a house right around me wherever I stand. And as you can see there's my original, uh, there's my new house, and my original old house is over there. Perfect. Okie dokie, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create yourself a new world. Uh, we'll just go new world and it needs to be a, well we'll do a creative one for the moment and set it to flat while we're doing the tutorial, which makes it nice and easy. We don't have to worry about dying or hills and stuff. And what we need to do is we need to do some coding. So we need to press C on the keyboard, which will bring up the code builder. And we click on new project. And let's call this uh, house two. You could call yours house, but I've got loads of house projects. So get rid of the on start bit because we don't need that. And we're going to be using the chat command, but we're going to change it from run to build house. There we go. And all we do is the first thing we need to do is we're mostly going to be using this block here. This is the main one going to be using. And this is the fill block. And what this does is say, okay, I want you to create me a cube or a cuboid of, of some sort of uh, fill of whatever material you want to fill it with. And you're going to do it from this position here to this position here. Now we haven't actually set anything there. It's zero, 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 zero. Uh, and that's relative because this squiggle there, that's relative to my position, which means that at the moment, all it would do is build a single block right by my feet but we don't want to do that we want to extend these blocks and the way we want to extend it is we want to say let's say i'm stood here we want to extend it from minus five minus five over there which is sort of uh five away down to the bottom left all the way over to plus five up plus five across there which will create a cube 10 by 10 because it's minus five to five uh, if I'm 11 actually because it's minus 5 to 5 but uh, it would create a nice big cube all the way over there uh, and we also want it to go up as well so that it builds above our head so what we do is we say okay we're going to start minus 5 on the left and we're going to start at minus 1 below us because we want to start building in the ground and we want to go uh, from minus 5 on the left uh, behind so minus 5 left minus 5 behind and then minus one on just underground and we want to walk, we'll go all the way along to five to the right and then five deep in in front of us and then we're also going to go up about seven so that'll go seven kind of blocks high there we go so let's have a go at that let's try that now if we come over here and we do build house there we go perfect well almost perfect We've got a slight issue now uh, and that is that Whilst I have built as a lovely big cube here, you can see it there, there's a nice big cube of dirt. Um, yeah, I've actually built as a solid cube rather than a hollow cube. Let's press C again. And the reason is, is this one here, change that from replace to hollow. So it's gonna create a hollowed out cube. And I'm gonna do something a bit more exciting. Let's do a uh, oak planks. There we go. So let's try that again. So now if we come here, build house there we go much better there we go so now we've got a nice hollow big house uh, and you can make it as big as you like you can put it 10 or 15 or something you can experiment with it but I'm going to stick with that for the moment so now what we want to do is we want to give ourselves some windows now the windows here if we're going to build it on this wall you've got to imagine let's say if this is left right this is going to be coordinate 5 and then, so we're gonna, gonna go five left and right, stick on this corner here. But for the deepness is going into the world, then we're gonna sort of start at minus three over here, go all the way up to plus three over here. And then we're gonna build it sort of up the top of the building. So maybe start at three vertical and go up to six. 
So let's have a go at that. So again, we're going to go with a fill with. This time I'll fill it with glass. And we're going to go, let's do minus five. Uh, we're going to go minus five. We're going to minus five. Minus five. With these, by the way, it's easier just to experiment often to see what happens. So we're going to go on this one left hand wall at minus five, minus five. We're going to start and we're going to go from minus three across to three across. Uh, and then this is the vertical one here. Let's start at three up and go to six up. And now, hopefully, that should build us a nice little house glass window. Build house. And there you go, perfect. So we've got a glass window there. And actually, I want to build a glass window as well as having a glass window along the minus five wall. I'm going to have a glass window across the plus five wall as well there. So let's just smash a hole in there so we can get out. We better build a doorway soon. And let's just edit that. So let's go, okay, duplicate that one. Right click and duplicate. And this time, instead of going on the minus five wall, We'll go along the plus five wall. And that should now, if we build us another version of the house, this is why I built it all on the flat terrain rather than building it on a normal one. Otherwise, we'd be hopping around everywhere trying to build stuff. There we go. That wall and that wall. Good. Okay, so we've got the windows in, which is good. Um, now what we'll do is we'll get it so it builds in uh, one of these walls here. We'll get it to build a doorway. Let's have a look. So here we go. This one, we won't place multiple blocks. We'll just do two of the single blocks because it's a lot of effort. And we'll just do them at fixed coordinates. So on this one, what we're going to do is we're not going on this minus five or plus five left and right. We're going to do it on the other wall, which means that effectively we're going to swap these coordinates kind of over. So what we do here is we'll leave that. Those can be at zero. Let's go one and two. And then this one is going to be at plus five. So in fact, let's do zero, one, two, three. So we've got a nice big doorway. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. So here now, what it should do, if we go over here and do build house, is, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, almost perfect. Apart from I didn't make it out of air. And it needs to be, let's just go 0, 1, 2 instead. So let's go uh, 0, oops, not, not 10, 0, 1, 2. And we'll build that out of air. So it's a nice hole in the wall. There we go. That should work fine. There we go. Let's try that. Build house. Hey, there you go. It's got a nice doorway, nice big doorway and a house with some windows. But now what we need to do is we need to build ourselves a proper roof. So like a triangular style roof. If I actually, I'm not going to do a triangular style. I'm going to do one that starts from the outside and comes to a point in the center. So how do we do that? Well, nice and simple. All we need to do here is Again, go back to our fill with, and this time what we do is, thank uh, you, there we go. We're going to do a similar thing that what we did here, where we started at minus five, minus five, uh, up to number seven, and then we're going to make these numbers slowly but surely get smaller and smaller and smaller, so that it will come to a point. So let's start at seven. In fact, no, we'll do it to number eight, so it stacks on top. Start at number of eight, and we'll do minus five, minus five, plus five, plus, oops, number eight, uh, plus five, plus five. So this will do the flat single bit on the roof. We'll do a bit, a bit of spruce wood for the roof there. Let's try that along. Let's say build house, make sure that works. There we go. That should have put our first layer on the roof. There we go. Perfect. There's our first layer of spruce on the roof. And all we'll do now is, what we'll do is, we'll just keep going with this, duplicate. And what we'll do now is we'll do minus four, minus four, plus four, plus four. And we'll just, uh, but this time we'll do it nine up. 
and then 10 up and we'll keep going minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 plus 3 so this number is getting the middle number is getting bigger because that's going higher up vertical but these side numbers here are getting smaller uh, let's just do that again let's keep going minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 plus 2 uh, duplicates uh, yeah. minus 1 minus 1 plus one plus one there we go and we'll do the last one which is zero 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 so just place one little dot so zero 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 oops i've not put those up i have 10 11 11 11 11 there we go and that hopefully now should here we go there we go. Here's we'll go build house. And hopefully now if I go out the door. There we go. We got a pointy roof just like that. Excellent. I've just missed the top two, and that's because here this should have said 12, 12, 13, 13. So my roof's getting a bit pointy. There we go. That's uh, fine. Let's close that off. There we go. And there uh, we go. Let's just do code. Oh, not code. Let's build ourselves a house. Build house. And there it is. Done. So that's your house complete, which is fine. Um, in terms of improvements, if you want to add some more, what you can do instead is you could uh, add yourself a bit of a chimney on there. You can add yourself some more windows onto your house. And next time, in the next tutorials, we're going to look at how we can make it a bit more efficient, uh, how we can use loops to speed things up. Okie doke. Thank you very much.